Hey, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel here. In today's video, what I have for you guys is gonna be a video on the M1928, the Tommy gun. This was my favorite weapon before the new gun that came out, the well gun. We made a classic video on that yesterday. I have 22,000 kills with the Tommy gun, uh, the M19. And we ended up switching a class up like a week or two ago. And like, honestly, this is a way better class than the one we had before. So I'm gonna be showing you guys basically my class up. I'm gonna go through all the attachments. And after that, I got a little gameplay for you guys. I had to like some questions I really wanted to ask you guys. So if you guys wanna watch that gameplay and let me know what you think, that would be awesome. And uh, yeah, hey, aside for that man let's get into it all right so for the actual attachments man we're going to be starting off with the muzzle uh this is one of the weapons that i love running a suppressor on so we're going to be playing with the m19 suppressor uh helping with that a little bit of accuracy uh there's also the mercury silencer uh that I, that, that helps with recoil control but you lose a little bit of damage range so it's really up to you guys what you guys want to play with i personally play with the m19 silencer but the right we're going to be playing with the last one this is something we changed from the last class setup uh instead of playing with the cooling barrel uh for a little bit more accuracy we're playing with this one that does a little bit more damage uh limb damage uh basically effective range damage on the class uh for the optics i'm going to be replaying with the 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 large what's it called the large iron sight this is something new somebody made me notice that you guys can see from the gameplay it's so clean how precise it is uh, the slide reflector is super good too uh, but this one helps with aim and also speed it actually increases it if uh you you, you play with this so uh, i didn't know that was a thing uh, so that's pretty cool to play with large iron sight for the stock man we're going to be playing with the the wire grid stock helping with aiming walking movement speed aiming steadiness just uh, a little bit more of a, of a speedy class uh after that for the underbarrel man we're going to be playing with the sg98 compact helping with some aim walking movement speed uh basically this guy's going to be super good for strafing so when you're pre-aiming just aiming in general you're going to be strafing super good left and right so that's what i like about this class of this new class up that we made for the magazine we're going to be playing with the 100 round jump uh it's super important that's something i would never change on this class up 100 round jump then increases damage overall grade the guys definitely want to play with this range bullet velocity gonna increase all that good stuff and we're going to be playing with lengthen uh for some bullet velocity for the rear grip, we're gonna be playing with groove grip, also something new, helping with the aiming, walking, uh, movement speed, and accuracy. And our proficiency, we're gonna be playing with frenzy. You guys know I love frenzy, man, on my class, and when it's an option. You guys can also play with slide of hand. The reload can be a little bit slow since it's a 100 round jump, uh, but frenzy, man, regens your, uh, your health after every kill, so that's pretty good too. Uh, it really depends, slide of hand or frenzy. And last but not least, we got fully loaded, man, so we don't run out of ammo on our streaks. So, yes, yeah, so that's the class setup right there. You guys can screenshot it, save it, make it your own. You guys know these class setup, and don't have to put like all the tennis it's exactly the same if you guys think there's a little bit like too, too much recoil or not enough recoil you guys can adapt some of the some of the attachment and uh, uh make it your own just i'm gonna be showing you guys the gameplay like i said earlier man i talked to you guys a little bit about like how i get these gameplays uh what type of gameplays you guys want to see in the channel so yeah, i really want you guys opinion on it you guys can watch that give me your opinion man in the comments down below but yeah hey aside from that man i really hope you guys enjoy if you do enjoy at any point y'all should subscribe and we hit 7k last night 7k subscribers there thank you guys for the support i love you guys and aside from that i hope you guys have a great day and i'm catching you guys in a minute Peace out. Here it is, man. My M19 in a, in Atomic. This is one of the guns that uh, I knew was going to look good. There was like an Atomic uh, camo glitch uh, at the beginning of the year. And I knew it was going to look good because uh, uh, we used it back then. But uh, I'm happy I got it unlocked now. It's one of the weapons I couldn't wait to play. Wait, I had a... Uh, I think I spent like the last couple of days just playing with the well gun. I love the well gun so much. It slops, yeah. The, the M19 is still a super viable option. Like it's still like, in my opinion, it's top two. Well, then, uh, then M19. But, uh, we already got our dogs here. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to know. I, I was gonna ask you guys. Now that we got Atomic, I feel like a lot of people have asked me if I was gonna go for, like, uh, uh, the zombie camo. Like, the watermelon camo. I'm not sure how they call it this year. Uh, but I really don't know if I was gonna do it. If I, if I grind it, am I even gonna play with it? And I, did, did people actually go for it? Do I have, like, any zombie, like, uh, uh fans or grinders in the... That, that watched the videos but i really want to know is it worth it to go for that camo is like the challenge is like hard or one at 19 because uh yeah we got we got the atomic camo is atomic camo worth it i feel like i, I get that question a lot and i don't know man that panzer Foss is a struggle even with it being fixed uh what's it called one at 23 here wait let me let me get these uh he's gonna spawn right here it's an easy kill w yeah, I feel like even with the fix for the Panzer Fuss, I, I don't even know if it's worth it to go for it. The long shot itself is shot. It's 100% shot. Like, you gotta get direct hits. Uh, long shots that are direct hits, which is close to impossible. You really gotta get lucky. And uh, and also, the, the, the new challenge is just fixed. You gotta kill dogs, which is like... 
you gotta wait until the enemy team call dogs on you to finish your camel which is completely chalk i don't know why they don't do like every shit in the game like you could destroy like uavs and stuff like that but yeah now that i now that i have atomic I'm, I'm glad the grind is over but if i had to restart i don't know if i would go for it right now i'd probably wait until like they actually like fix the launchers the other camels are really not that bad you know they're leveling up takes a lot of time uh you guys probably know he probably leveled up a couple weapons but leveling up is probably what takes the longest the actual camels itself they're not hard uh some of them take long oh my god that guy beat me some of them take long but none of them are extremely like hard or anything like even the what's cool this is that you don't have to level up like uh the, the melee the right shield to do it uh, they're autom automatically like you can start doing the challenges right away even the launchers so that's pretty cool But yeah, at least I'm, I'm glad they fixed it, man. This this update was a uh, uh, was kind of a W. I'm glad they fixed it. I couldn't wait for them to fix Atomic Camel. Now I feel like they gotta get on, like uh, you know, on to the next step. I feel like there's a lot of stuff missing in Vanguard, uh, such as like I, I I feel like you know we don't have leaderboards, we don't have league play. There's no prestige shop. There's supposed to be like clan wars or like clan rewards or something like that. Uh, there's just like a bunch of stuff missing that I feel like we're playing a beta here uh, The only thing different from a beta we got a couple more game modes a couple more maps and we can level up our weapons That's really like what's different But yeah, if that leader was that's gonna be kind of fun because we are up there man If you guys didn't know uh, we're like 14 or 15 for kills if you guys go check like cod tracker and uh, You check the leaderboards we're like we're up there like top 15 for sure And uh, if they add the leaderboards, that'd be kind of cool that we would be up there like front page and it's uh, I don't I, I, I'm not like grinding grinding leader boys i'm not trying to be first i'm happy i'm up there i'm it's cool that i'm up there uh but uh, i'm not gonna grind for a like insane number of hours to get number one i feel like leaderboards are not that much of a hype anymore uh but it's still a good promo man like i i, I like to go for leaderboards uh just a little bit because people uh even last year on cold War, i think we we're like five or six the whole year and a lot of people were coming to their chat, like the YouTube comments, like, oh, you know, I saw you from the leaderboard. So it's like a little promo. Every time you check the leaderboards, you see my name up there. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, nah, they gotta, they gotta start adding this stuff, man. Like I said, I feel like we're playing a beta. I might be, I might be wrong, but there was like a lot of stuff that was supposed to be in the game, like specialists. Uh, there was like a war game mode that was like World War II that was supposed to get added, uh, which was like a fan favorite in World War II. I don't know why they didn't add it yet. Uh, it was so fun. I don't know if you guys ever played that game mode, but uh, it was, it was mad fun to play. And I thought, I thought it was gonna get added this year, but we're missing all that, all that stuff. I gotta shoot up here. Local. on my advance do you guys if uh you guys like the way you call in your streaks i feel like every time i call in my streaks i'm scared to call in my uh my v2 or other streaks like the way you hold right i don't know i'm just uh i'm just not a fan but it i i saw somebody somebody comment uh on one of the videos saying like hi i complain a lot on the game i'm the first one to show love to call of duty uh but it's my passion for the game that makes me complain a lot you know i have high hopes for uh for, for multiplayer i'm one of the only people not not one of the only there's still a lot of people but we've lost a lot of people in the multiplayer uh community a lot of youtubers went back to warzone and like i really i really love this game and i wanted to succeed and i i i feel like i know what has to be done to make it great and i feel like they're not doing it so that's why i'm complaining a lot and i want these things to get fixed uh but uh no nah, i i still love call of duty man i still love vanguard i'm still having a lot of fun i know i know we're gonna i know i'm gonna get tired of the game soon if they don't add like the stuff i was talking about like prestige shop leaderboards league play all that stuff uh but at the moment man i'm loving the game beaming Oh, dude, I could have started a fast streak, but I kind of jumped in the middle of like seven people. I didn't think uh, I didn't think I was gonna get cut like that. But uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to beat a. I like going for fast streak, but I don't think we're gonna beat our PR. Last year we kept beating it like whole year, but I think we started off strong this year with a 33 second nuke on that on that nuke down spawn trap. And honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna beat that. That is fast, 33 seconds. And without the oh my god, I'm so dead right here. Oh my god, my aim. No, bro, why that was like, they kept spawning there constantly. But yeah, nah, I, lo I love that we have Atomic now. That's that, that's good to include that in an update. And it was, uh, I don't know if you guys saw, uh, but uh, Swag did a video with our, with our account. 
that was pretty cool too he hopped on our account made a little video with atomic camo that was a uh, that was pretty sweet it was also right away that did a video uh with our, with our atomic camo so that was that was just cool little exposure for us uh getting atomic and uh, there's gonna be a also another person that's gonna do a, a video on it but they didn't upload their video yet so i can't tell you guys uh gonna have to stay uh, up to date with that but got another little banger a little goat youtuber that's gonna be uh using our account to make a, a video on it do i have time to drop again i need to drop one like insanely fast Ugh. no they're needing me oh 11 12 no i got cooked what is that oh that's an automaton from far range you can't really beat that 190 uh, i feel like do we call it in right now 170 yeah we, we kind of took the 200 here but that will be tall i'll take that man but yeah 7k subs man last night i really appreciate that man thank you uh thank you everybody for the support this is like literally our best month on youtube we ever had and uh we started youtube like back in infinite warfare we kind of took a break for like two to three years and we came back in like Warzone. uh but man hey i appreciate the love man honestly 7k closing in here uh, getting closer and closer to the to the big milestone 10k man which is uh, honestly crazy to think about man i never thought i was gonna hit 10k on youtube and uh now i see it man we might, we might hit it this year we're gonna hit it this year we're 100 hitting 10k this year i'm gonna be putting the work in the content for you guys and uh oh wait wait we maybe didn't choke the the 200 here I, I don't know if i got it man i think i got like four kills at the end it's gonna be like 199 196 damn